The kickoff to the holiday season in Geneseo, Illinois is one week from today with the Christmas open house featuring the first lighting of the new city Christmas tree. Let's welcome back Zach Sullivan, the executive director of the Geneseo Chamber of Commerce, uh, Commerce rather, to talk about all the fun happening one week from today. Uh, Zach, wel welcome back. Coming off a very successful Scarecrow Row. We had you on a couple of weeks ago. Right. So that, that was a great turnout, and we're hoping for a good turnout here next weekend as well. Yeah, these events just keep coming at us in Geneseo right now. Yeah. We're in our full fall event schedule. Yes. And so Scarecrow Row was a big hit. We had over 4,000 people and 80 scarecrows at the event, children trick-or-treating. And then as soon as we're done with that Halloween <laughs> event, we throw on the Christmas switch. Yes. So Christmas Open House is coming yes. up next Friday, November 15th in downtown Geneseo from 4 p.m. till 7 p.m. And what Christmas Open House is, it's, it is the official kickoff to the holiday shopping season in yeah. Geneseo. Not only does the city finally roll out the holiday decorations and turn them on for the first time for the season, but also our stores are open a little bit late for people to do some nice candlelight shopping for the holidays. Yeah, and what I think is very uh, unique about this event is you have free horse ride or horse carriage rides, correct? Yeah, they're horse and wagon rides. Yes, Cur horse and wa wagon. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and they're free, uh, courtesy of our friends at Springfield Armory, and uh, that will be going from four to seven. And okay. I'm hearing that Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus will be arriving at six o'clock on the horse and wagon. Oh, okay. So that'll be a sight to see. The kids can get Santa a little bit early this year and tell them what they want for Christmas. Yeah, you know, it's really cool that Santa takes the time to visit Geneseo every year, yeah. even a few times this year. I mean, it's like booking Paul McCartney, you know, how much <laughs> yes. bigger than you do you get than Santa Claus, so it's awesome. Yeah, he's a hot commodity here this mm -hmm. time of year. So uh, as we mentioned, uh, we're gonna have the first lighting of yes. the new city Christmas tree, which just a few months ago, you had to have a last lighting of your old tree because it actually, on a more serious note, it posed a danger of uh, potentially falling or causing different hazards. So I kind of had to go a different route here this year. So talk about the, the last lighting. Yeah, so it's interesting how the timeline works because in June we did the last lighting and, and in November we're doing now, yeah. the first lighting. So um, what we did in June, because yeah, you're right, the tree was at risk of extreme failure. Yeah. The city had an independent arborist come in to assess the tree and highly recommended that it be removed before it falls in a, the right storm would have done the sure, trick. Sure. And I have long said that the worst thing that can happen at the Geneseo Chamber is for something to happen to that tree. This yeah. is the year that it happened. <laughs> so um, you were, you were onto this. <laughs> so um, in working with the city, um, we said, why don't we do a final send off for this tree, right? Yeah. We'll have our own little Whoville moment and we had over 800 people come to downtown Geneseo for a summertime uh, celebration of Christmas and then after the celebration the tree was removed so now um, this new artificial tree will be coming in the city has purchased a new beautiful tree that will become the new centerpiece of our holiday traditions in Geneseo for years to come okay and this isn't gonna be some you know seven eight foot tall tree I mean this is this is gonna be pretty impressive yeah this new tree is 30 feet tall, 30 feet tall it, it, it is huge I have stood next to the tree uh, <laughs> in sections and it is the sections are taller than I am yeah and it is going to be so bright I think people are gonna be very impressed by this tree I know that some people aren't a big fan of an artificial tree versus yeah, a real tree sure. but clearly the last tree needed to be replaced if you looked at it in the daytime it was very thin and was it was it? old and plus the strip of the Boulevard on State Street is not good for planting trees mm -hmm. every 20 to 30 years the city has gone through and had to replant trees this is oh, a constant really? cycle and this tree was unfortunately at the end of its life cycle but we value Christmas time in Geneseo yes, and we, lo we love making it special big. so we did a lot of research about what would be the right kind of tree to bring to Geneseo and I think that the end result is just going to blow people away it's it is huge it is bright it's way more full than the old tree Plus, we're going to have ornaments on the tree now. So during the day, the tree looks much more aesthetically pleasing uh -huh. as opposed to just kind of an old tree that was sitting there uh, like we used to have. So what types of ornaments is it going to be? Can the community donate to this, or is it just something that the city just decides, hey, we're going to put this ornament on? Uh, it was more of a city decision, I'd say, okay. but I think you just brought up a good idea. We're probably going to have a discussion now. <laughs> Whoops. There's our controversy. <laughs> well, yeah, that, yeah, we're like, nothing controversial in this interview, but uh, okay, I guess I, I just gave the city of Geneseo an idea. So it's all right. You're welcome, Zach. You're welcome, yeah. city of Geneseo. <laughs> so uh, we don't want people going up and, and messing with the tree uh, by any means, but that's going to make for a, a great backdrop, like you right. mentioned, because uh, you've got the Christmas walk coming up as well. Yeah, and the Christmas walk is Geneseo's biggest event every year. We're yeah. expecting over 10 
10,000 people. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And this tree, I mean, is part of the evolution of the Christmas walk event. If you look yeah. at things from the last 40 years of the Christmas walk, oh, almost 40 years. Yeah. Um, it started as the Victorian walk, and then it right. turned into the Christmas walk. And then new elements were added, such as the um, lighted parade and the Jingle Run 5K. Mm -hmm. It's always had living windows. And this new tree is the next step in the evolution of that event. And, you know, it, everything crescendos towards the Geneseo Christmas walk. This year, it's Saturday, December 14th. But first things first, we have a Christmas celebration to kick off the holiday shopping season on Friday, November 15th. All right, so uh, lots going on in Geneseo. So mark your calendars for the Christmas walk in December. But uh, yeah, next Friday, 4 to 7 p.m. Downtown Geneseo is the place to be for the Christmas open house. You can visit Geneseo.org for more information. And again, the first lighting takes place at 6 p.m. And I hear, is it Mrs. Claus who's doing the countdown? Uh, we'll make it Mrs. Claus. I know Mr. Santa Claus will be there too, but Mrs. Claus will be joining him as okay. well. So so this will be a big deal for Geneseo. So mm -hmm. uh, as always, Zach, thank you so much for joining us and sharing all that Geneseo has to offer. Yeah, thank you so much, Kyle. All right. Well,